Welcome to this quick tour of ASCIO. This is ASCIO version 0 0.96 and it should be on CPAN within a few days. I have started an ASCIO application and loaded a diagram to show you what you can achieve with uh, ASCIO. ASCIO is a GTK Perl application and it was quite fun to write this application. I'm gonna remove the elements that we have in these diagrams uh, to show you the application as it starts. Uh, as you can see, there are no menus, there are no status bars, no scroll bars, no tabs. Uh, I try to keep to keep the interface quite Spartan. What we can see is the grid, and there is a thin red line here, which is just a little reminder of the 80 characters limit if you want to follow that limit. In ASCIO most of the actions are accessible through the keyboard. Actions are defined as plugins so you can uh, modify, remove, add or change uh, the actions yourself. There is here a listing of the different plugin files that come with ASCIO and if we open the inserted one for example and make it a little bit wider here so we can read you can see the different actions that are defined in this file we can redo undo zoom in zoom out and so on we can also see here which shortcut is assigned to the action uh, control Z, Z will undo, control Y will redo, help will be F1. This window is accessible through control shift K. We can open the help here. And as it says, it's very short help with some of the commands and actions that you can run in ASCIO. There is also a pop-up menu, three uh, top entries, ASCII, which is um, a menu that allows you to add different type of elements here, ruler line, which allows you to put a thin red line like this one, vertically or horizontally, and a file menu to open, save or save as your diagrams. Let's add some elements. <coughs> You can start with box, the shortcut for box is B. Uh, a text element, the shortcut is T. I'm going to close this right now, I'll come back to it later. And then to add an arrow, it's A. A few more elements, but uh, I will not cover them in this tour. I'm going to zoom in to show you the anatomy of the box element. When you move the mouse pointer close to an object or element, it gets highlighted. Here we can see the resize handle and we have four connectors for this box. The connectors are where you can connect arrows. Get back our element here. You can see that the text element has also a resize handle and four connectors. The arrow on the other hand has only two resize handles here. These resize handles are actually resize handle and connector. So you will be able to move them and connect the boxes to the arrow. The box has attributes. You can get to the attribute window by double clicking on it. This allows you to add a title and some text. You can resize if you want to. You can ask to have a title separator here. 
we see that the title is centered while the rest of the text is not. I can resize this one here. Uh, an interesting things here, thing here is that these are real objects, so they are either in front or behind. I'm gonna edit the text object here. And you can see it says box attributes. There is no difference between a box and a text. It's just a frame. Here we decided to not have any framing around it. So it's very easy to go from a box to a text or from text to a box. For the rest of this tour, we're gonna get some help from our friend Bunny. Bunny is a little bit the mascot of ASCII because it wants uh, ASCII world domination. Bunnies are known to reproduce quite quickly. I press on the control key, click on the object, and then I get a copy. I get another one here. Selecting the object is just a matter of clicking on it. If you want to select two objects, you can press on the shift key and select the other object, or you can drag the selection rectangle around them and they will be selected. Select these two, and if I have two objects selected, I can copy both of them at the same time. You can also group objects in ASCII, so I'll select these two bunnies and say please group them. I'll take these two bunnies here and say make another group. As you can see the background is a slight tint of pe peach and here a slight tint of green and if they were to be selected then the background would be much darker. The non-grouped objects have this color so this allows you to very easily see which objects are selected and which are grouped together and which are not. If I was to have another bunny here and say group this group and this element together then they will get another color. I think we cycle after three or four colors. Selecting one element selects the whole group and if you were to ungroup this group we will get the previous groups and here I can ungroup one more time. Our friend Bunny is gonna show us how to work with arrows also and connect uh, connect objects together. <coughs> I added an arrow object by pressing the A shortcut and I just press on it and connect. Same thing here. We'll say goodbye to these bunnies and zoom a little bit here to see how the arrow works. When uh, you move one of the objects the arrow is gonna reconnect to the most optimal connector. For example here the arrow connects from the right connector to the bottom connector but if I move it here it's gonna be the top connector and the right connector. And we can continue this and go around. One thing that might be of interest is that the objects don't know anything about each other. They don't even know that they are connected. Uh, that is handled by the ASCII application. The optimization of the arrows is not part of the ASCII application either. It's a plugin um, that is run. So for example here if I decided that I was going to connect to the top here this plugin would say no sorry but this is much a much better way to to connect the elements together this optimizer as i said is a plugin so if you want to change it or remove it you're very welcome to to do that the arrow can in this case go to the right and up but it could have gone up and to the right. I'm going to press the D key which stands for direction while I have an arrow selected and it changes the direction of the arrow. 
but there is another way to do that the arrows remember how we have been moving them around so if I select a bunny and then do this it's going up and to the right if I go down and up it goes to the right and up this is mainly to avoid having to select an arrow change the direction reselect the other object put it exactly where you want now you can very easily say okay no I want it to come from that side and I want it to be here without having to reselect the arrow and changing its direction it's possible to save your diagram it's a standard GTK dialog if you were to save it under the test ASCIO file name it will be saved in an internal format that allows you to open it again and uh, modify it a little bit later if you save it as test.txt then you'll get a normal text file it's also possible to um, save in PNG format and you will get a screenshot we are now going to close uh, ASCIO and I'm going to show you one or two things show you what kind of results you can get here is the pod for ASCIO itself and there are examples in in it that have been uh, uh, drawn by ASCIO doing something like this is um, quite easy the first time in text editor but as soon as you want to move something it gets very difficult and that's where ASCIO comes in ASCIO is also scriptable and here is a little script there is some boilerplate here at the top just a few lines but uh, we create a box element and we add it to ASCIO at a certain position another box element third box element and then I add three connections I asked the um, connection optimizer to do an optimization and then we can ask ASCIO to transform all the element to an ASCII buffer and we print it out close this one I'll move a little bit this window so we can see all of it and this is the result that you can get uh, these lines here can be removed easily one of them is warning uh, from uh, GTK um, it's uh, not a problem it's gonna be removed in the coming version on, of uh, GTK Perl by using ASCIO as a script engine you can generate diagrams from UML or from uh, whatever uh, format you have uh, it would be quite easy to dump Perl data structures uh, or have something uh, that is like DDD if you want to there is a lot of things that we can do with uh, ASCIO the project is uh, new you're very welcome to to join just send me a mail and uh, I will answer you thank you goodbye